I'm a member of the Fairfield County Makers Guild in Connecticut. Fortunately, a few of the libraries near me have maker spaces, so that's more or less how I learned. I have a cat who goes out, and I have a dog who sometimes digs under the fence, so I wanted to make sure they'd be more visible to cars at night, and also for um, walking them at night to make sure that everybody is more visible while we're walking. This one over here is the light up dog jacket. It's made using a 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery which is rechargeable, an Arduino Gemma which is what I use to program it and then um, 10 Adafruit NeoPixels and I connected all of them with conductive thread and um, I programmed it to make them fade between the different colors the light up at night pet collar and this one only lights up in the dark that way you don't have to remember to um, turn it off during the day because it has a photo cell right here which I use as a light sensor so when you cover it it lights up and it's even brighter at night so that was an older version of the light up at night pet collar I ended up doing fabric instead of 3D printing because this made them very clunky and bulky and stiff and it was hard to get them it over the dog's neck. So in the end I went for fabric instead because that was softer and more like a regular collar. The only drawback to fabric is that it's not waterproof and also it glowed more on the 3D printed one. I've tried a lot. These are just a few of the designs I've tried. I find it really impressive how you're willing to switch materials so readily. One material didn't serve you, so you went to a completely different construction technique. Like, were you, were you scared or apprehensive about switching between the two? Not really. I just kind of knew I needed to make something that worked. And then when I realized the material really wasn't going to work, then, yeah, I just switched to another one. One of them would be a more waterproof fabric, such as, like, a, the sort of thing that raincoats are made out of. Um, also trying again with um, a flexible filament with a new design and also silicone which I tried here and turned out disastrously. I, it, it has potential though even though this is a complete mess so I'd definitely like to try that again. Do you have any advice for girls like you who want to get into building their own electronics? Well I'd say to probably find a makerspace or a library or somewhere with people who know and then just talk to the people there about your idea and do some research and make it happen for sure. Amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.